Hello. <laughs> um, today I'm going to read uh, from Proverbs 29, verse 25 in the ESV. The fear of man lays a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. Now, to really understand what that is saying, we really have to understand what the words mean, right? So fear has to do with um, anxiety, dread, uh, being frightful, worrying, concern. Uh, it has to do with the belief that someone or something is dangerous, uh, likely to cause pain or a threat. Um, now, they may be dangerous. <laughs> You know there are a lot of dangerous people out there, but what 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 is the what is it saying? The fear of man. That means that we we believe that humans have power over us that God can't do anything about. We believe that they have a control that God is not in control over. Uh, so it's not believing in the sovereignty of God when we fear man, when we feel that man can do to us what God cannot do anything about. Um, and so what we do is we let those fears determine how we respond. And it, uh, fear is lack of faith. It's lack of faith in believing that God is sovereign, that he is control. Does he allow bad things to happen to us? Yes, he does. But we have to not fear them. A lot of people fear other people, and they make their decisions based on those fears. You know, they or they fear their circumstances. You know, uh, they fear uh, what's going to happen to them next, or you know, or how they're going to pay their bills. You know, on um, or you know. Uh, a nuclear disaster coming you know it may come it may not come you know being afraid of it does not make it less real or more, or more real you know um, uh, there, there are a lot of things we have no control over in our lives okay but we're not to be afraid of them we're not to be afraid of the things to where we we do not operate and in, in that um, in, in faith you know, a lot of people, they live by fear instead of faith. I've, I've gone through a period of my life like that. I still sometimes have to struggle with, with that. You know, I mean, I, I don't give in to it. What I mean is I, I sometimes feel fear, and then I have to realize, you know, what that is, and then I have to uh, deny it and to put it off and to reject it and, and then know the truth about who Jesus Christ is and who God is and uh, the one and the same, you know, God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Um, I have to know and believe in the sovereignty of God and his, his watch and care over my life and that my life is in his hands, you know, despite, you know, what I might be going through or what other people might be doing to me. So I can't let what other people do impact what I do, you know? I can't let what other people believe impact what I believe. Or I can't let fear of them keep me from doing the will of God or to keep me from obeying God or to keep me so bound up that I don't do what I'm supposed to do, you know? So we're not, we're not supposed to, we're not supposed to live in the fear of other human beings. Um, we're not to let what they do determine what we do, okay? Okay, so it says the fear of man, and man is mankind, humankind, that's male or female, it's not just man. Um, man is another term for flesh, you know, the, the flesh nature, um, uh, human flesh, you know, we're not to fear, not to fear any of that. We're, we're to walk in the fear of the Lord, which is to honor respect, obey, you know, reverence, you know, God, and, and that's the, the one word of fear, not, not, in, not in a fearful way of avoiding him, you know, because we're afraid of him, you know, but that, that honor, that respect, that value, and, and obeying him, 
a trust in him, you know, which is, um, you know, the, the next part we'll get to. Because uh, it says the fear of man lays a snare. So what is a snare? Uh, well, if somebody lays a snare for you, um, they're trying to bait you or to lure you. Now, I I post, I'm, I'm a writer of devotions, uh, um, and I post the devotions on the internet on various places, on uh, some places where I uh, have no control over who responds to me, um, that I sometimes get um, uh, responses where I can tell people are trying to bait me. You know, they're trying to incite me to, to, uh, to get upset so that they can get me in an argumentative you know, um, discussion to where they're, they're hoping to, to trap me, to, to trap me with my words, which is what Jesus' persecutors did. You know, they were all the time trying to trap him with his words. They were baiting him, trying to get him to say something he shouldn't say, you know, um, but he, he, of course, did not do that. He did not fall for for their traps. Um, so if, if we allow the fear of other human beings to, to control us, to rule our lives and how are the choices that we make and, and like that, if we fear humans and their opinions of us uh, more than we fear God, you know, and his, his opinions of us, you know, um, then that, that's a problem. Um, so we aren't to let, let fear of uh, other people and, and how they treat us or how they react to us, or what they say to us, control what we believe and how we behave and the things that we do. Um, uh, and, and we are to be um, discerning of, of these, these baits. And I'm gonna tell you, they can just come on, you know, all of a sudden and, and before you know it, you know, you're, you're engaged in a conversation and then you realize, you know, this is, this is going nowhere, you know, and uh, and so you have to you have to back out and and then you have to you might have to calm down you know and uh, just let let the peace of God you know come over you and to, to work through those those emotions and um, to to let go of the any kind of fear or anxiety and like that and just trust the Lord you know um, because if if we allow the fear of man to overtake us, it can make us useless, you know, uh, for God. It can be, it make us uh, to where we, we can't we can't do the will of God because we're allowing the fear of other human beings or what they think about us, what they do to us, um, all those kinds of things. Uh, we let those control us instead. Then, um, then we can't serve the Lord, you know. So it says, oh, the fear of man lays us near, but whoever trusts in the Lord is safe, okay? To trust God is, is to believe in him, and it's not just an intellectual assent to who Jesus is and to what he did for us, but is to put our absolute faith and confidence in God for our lives, letting letting him lead us, leading, let us um, following Jesus Christ with our lives, leaving our lives of sin behind us, obeying the Lord, you know, living holy lives, you know, pleasing to God, you know, that, that is, um, because we, we have that confidence, uh, in him and in his word and what it teaches us, we believe it. And so we live it by his grace and in his power and strength, you know, so no matter what we're going through, no matter the snares that are laid for us or whatever, you know, you know, we're to put our trust in the Lord. We're to, to keep our confidence in the Lord, to believe his word, to believe that, you know, he's He's all-powerful and all-knowing and he's in control of everything and that nothing can touch us, but God allows it. He allows it for a purpose. He's going to see us through it, you know. So um, we need to keep our trust and our confidence in the Lord and not let what other humans do to us or say about us or say to us or whatever uh, impact our decision making or our emotions or our responses, you know, to, to them. Okay, so um, 
And then it says, if whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. Now, what does that mean, safe? Because does it mean that we're not going to have bad things happen to us? You know, Jesus said, you know, if anyone follows him, he says, he says you're, you're going to be hated. You're going to be rejected. You're going to be persecuted. You're going to have people say all manner of evil against you. They're going to do, do um, physical harm to you and mental harm. You know, I mean, they were they're gonna they're gonna hurt your feelings. You know, they're they're gonna be nasty to you. You know, um, they're they're gonna try to bait you. They're gonna try to do all kinds of things against you to try to get you to fail. You know, because that's Satan's goal, and Satan's the one behind the, them who are trying to to go after us. So. Uh, and if you read uh, what happened to Jesus, you know, and if you read the testimony of Paul and, and, and some of the prophets before them and the other apostles, you realize, you know, and what it talks about in Revelation, you know, that that those who hold on to the testimony of Jesus Christ are going to be martyred, you know, for our walks of faith in Jesus Christ, you know. So it isn't that we aren't going to have bad things happen to us, you know, because he says we will. But uh, the word, and I looked it up, um, I looked it up, this is an Old Testament passage, and I looked it up in their inner linear, and it really didn't tell me a whole lot. So I looked up the, the same word in the, the Greek um, inner linear, and it says, um, properly deliver out of danger and into safety, use principally of God rescuing believers from the penalty and power of sin and into his provisions you know he will keep us safe spiritually if our trust is in him and if we don't give way to satan we don't give way to the flesh of man we don't give way to fear and anxiety and, and, and then not follow the lord with our lives uh, because we're we're afraid and so we we let fear control us instead of god and his word control us you know so this the safety is He's going to bring us safe into his kingdom uh, if our trust you know, remains in him. We follow him, we obey him, and, uh, and that we let, uh, we let his strength you know, help us in our times of weakness and our times when we are being persecuted. And we rely on his power and his wisdom you know, to know how to respond to people. So that we're not responding in the flesh, you know, but we're responding in the spirit, you know, and if we start to respond in the flesh, then we have to back up and, you know, change, change course and, and then, you know, respond uh, according to how God wants us to respond. And um, that's the encouragement for today.